Moments of talkative half, the pen and teller, is also author of Every Day an Atheist is on Holiday. It is an atheist holiday, which may give you a clue. More magical tales than the author of God No. And Penn Gillette calls joins me now. Welcome back, Penn. Good to be here. I couldn't think of anyone I'd rather talk to about the retirement, <laughs> this unprecedented retirement of a pope than you. What is your honest reaction to it all? Well, I, I think I may be someone who believes in the pope's position more than most Catholics. Uh, I really take people at their word. And it seems like uh, all the cynicism and all the um, who we're going to get in and modernizing, there's not supposed to be modernizing. It's supposed to be the word of God. I, mean, I know it's only when he's speaking at cathedrals, not all the time. But um, I really believe that if people believe, I don't know how they can have opinions on the Catholic but Church. You, have you to call move. yourself a Catholic, right. don't you follow everything? No, that's the point. I, I've become increasingly like many young Catholics, I think, really disgruntled by the failure of successive popes and the Vatican to move at all with the times when society is changing but so But why fast. would society move that if they really were, uh, if they're well, let me the give spokesman an example. for Jesus? Here's an example. Their literal interpretation of contraception, for mm -hmm. example, means that no pope can endorse the use of condoms. Right even in places like Africa, where mm -hmm. it would have saved tens if not hundreds of thousands of lives. I find it completely unacceptable that no pope has been able or allowed to or felt able to to say if you're using it as a barrier to disease, like AIDS, you have my support. Because if, that would save lives. It can't, it, be, uh, Christian. It can't life. be Christian well, to allow so many people to die through your interpretation of what something is. This is, this is, this is great what sides we're picking here. I would say on my side that if you have someone who is a conduit to God and is speaking God's word, even if you can't understand exactly what God's plan is, even if you do see suffering that you consider uh, uh, unacceptable, or any suffering is unacceptable, that still doesn't mean you get to vote on what God actually believes. They pray, they study but what they're saying. it's their interpretation saying. of what well, God but, but it's believe. their interpretation of somebody who is, at times, divine. At but I, times, I don't remember reading Jesus Christ saying you cannot use condoms to prevent disease. But that's all... That's, I don't remember him saying... Priests, Catholic priests, can't get married. Well, I don't remember him saying divorced Catholics can't exactly. remarry in church. But that's all the all, female priests can't be ordained. That's so all none of these things have actually come from Jesus absolutely. Christ's own that's, mouth. But now you're talking Martin Luther. I mean, that was Martin Luther saying that an individual, I don't think he actually mentioned you by name, but an individual <laughs> could interpret the Bible themselves. The idea, as I understand that of the Catholic Church, is that it's not interpreting the Bible yourself. You have somebody who is actually able mm -hmm. to do that. And once you have somebody that is telling you, we are interpreting God for you, it seems like you either agree or you don't. You either say, like Martin Luther, I'm going to have a direct relationship with the word of God, or I'm going to go through a, uh, a conduit of, of God on earth, which would be the Pope. can't believe that I've got Pendula in front of me actually defending well, my church against <laughs> my own criticisms of it. Anyway, well, you're getting with Martin Luther, and that's not, that's not the case. This is unprecedented territory.